today we're going to go over the basics of starting and running your very own club. Here we have a sim named Irish Dancer. Irish Dancer loves to dance, but she doesn't know any other sims in the neighborhood that do. So we're going to start a club for her just for dancing. So if we go down here into the bottom right corner to clubs, we can join a club. If we don't see the club that we want exactly, which in this case we don't, we'll create our very own club. Now we want to make sure that we find people that know how to dance. So we're going to add an admission rule. We'll do skill level 2 plus and dancing. This will ensure that the people that join our club know how to dance. We can also select any other skill level if we wanted to and make that another club requirement. We can also add people by age, career, marital status, financial status, in case you only want to have people with a lot of money, or if they have a certain trait. In this case, we just want to make sure they know how to dance. We'll make a club activity, art and music, dancing. For good measure, we'll also add listening to music. We'll call our dance club um, Mensa. For our description, it's an awesome dance club. And since these moves are on fire, we'll make the icon fire. We'll leave it as open invitation in case anybody that loves to dance wants to join. Let's go ahead and add some members. Oh, we have a few people that like to dance. We'll add all of them. And since this is going to be a friendly dance club, we're going to make it a banned activity to be mean. So we'll choose an activity that's banned, be mean, and we'll make sure it's to anyone. We can also have them be mean to people of a certain age or to different clubs if you want rival clubs. Now that we've met pretty much all the requirements we want to meet, we can go ahead and start the club. But the last thing you want to pay attention to is the club hangout. If you have the club hangout set to none, it'll, the people in your club will actually come to whatever lot that you're at and they'll start a club gathering there. Or you can choose a specific location or a general venue. For now, we'll just leave it as none, since we have an awesome stereo and a rockin' dance floor. Another thing we can pay attention to in our club here is we can actually have a club outfit. For our club, we're just going to go ahead and pick a color. But you can also pick a certain style for outfit, or you can do a fully custom outfit. For now, we'll just do red. And let's go ahead and start a club gathering. Starting the club gathering, we'll have everybody come over to my house and immediately start performing club activities. Now that everyone's here, we can really get the dance party going. As everyone in my club starts to dance, you'll notice that I'm getting club points. These club points can be spent on various things, such as skill bonuses, social bonuses. We can even set club vibes to make sure that everyone's energized or inspired or even sad. And now Irish has the dance club that she's always wanted, dancing out on her lawn at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> now that Irish's dance club looks almost to be perfectly in sync, let's go ahead and make them completely in sync with some nice custom outfits. <laughs> Well, maybe they're not totally in sync yet, but I'm sure Mensa will eventually get completely in sync because Irish's new dance club is fantastic. Putting together and maintaining a club is fairly simple and there's so much you can do with it. That's all for this week as far as Sims tutorials go. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if there's anything crazy that you've done with your club that you want to tell me about, leave a comment below and I'll take a look. Until next time everyone. Happy gaming. Mm -hmm.